A frustrating evening in front of goal as we fall to 4 2 defeat against Darvo this evening. Uh, Brian, your thoughts on that performance? I, I think I'm, I always try to be honest with these things, Lee. And yeah, we did miss some chances, but I thought, first half in particular, I thought we were so far short of where we need to be. Never been going playing against Darvo, playing any team in this league. I thought we were a, a million miles short, uh, and yeah, we still had some chances. Uh, but against that, we, you, you need to keep to a shape. You, when the chance comes, you need to get against them. And I, I just felt it was too many is too many is off at night. Uh, and against Davo, you can't do that. You need everybody to beat them early in the season. We had everybody at maximum. We didn't have. I was still waiting to pass marks tonight. But as I say, it's, it's not about individuals. The four goals we lost were poor, poor goals from our point of view. Really poor goals. Decision making, poor defending. That's not to say Davo didn't have a chance because he did really good play for them. But the four goals were really poor from their point of view. And 4-2 at the end, does it make it look a wee bit better? It, it doesn't take a wee bit of performance. And that's probably the most disappointed I've been, uh, certainly this season, in terms of performance. Even though you're playing against the Larkins of the best team in the league, uh, I just thought that we didn't give them up. We didn't give them a game and that's disappointing. I'm sure it's disappointing. I, I know it's disappointing. I've, I've spoken to the boys the they know themselves, uh, and a nice last year we did them, they had it and we, we were just a bit short of yep. It was a disappointing first half performance, Greg Ferry a moment of inspiration though, a brilliant goal gets us back in the game just after half time, but deficit's back up to two shortly after that, was that a big frustration for you, it just couldn't you know, keep the game at one goal yeah, away? Yeah, I, th I, th I think to be fair to be fair, to it's, a, it's an absolutely brilliant strike, there's some really good strikes right, in, in terms of the goals that, that Darwin scored, but, I mean Greg's was a, a wonder strike, but uh, it was just not in line with anything else we'd done tonight. Uh, it, it was a really good, really good strike. But as you say, you then you get a bit of momentum, and we go and give a really, really slack goal away. Uh, again, really good strike for the boy. But from our point of view, it's, it's really, really poor defending. And again, when you get in touching distance of these teams, you need to then switch on mentally. Five, ten minutes, do the right things. Even if you're not going in and, and creating chances again, five, ten minutes, you need to stay at, stay at the one goal and then you know you'll get the chances, but we, we gave a cheap goal away and again, the penalty just at the end is a, another cheap goal from, from our point of view. Yep. We get a wee run of league games to start 2023, starting at Irvine next week. It's familiar opponents played them just in December there. Is it looking out to build a wee bit of momentum and staying that top half of the league? Well, I think what I've always said about the league, and I think I'm really managers, any, any manager to speak to, I think it's, it's pretty pretty common theme that I don't think the league will take shape with the exception of probably Davo, who I think are a good bit better than everybody else. Uh, I think the league will now start to take shape with, with teams getting a run of league games. There's been too many cup games. So you, you get one league game, you get a decent result, and you're on to three or four cup games, or you get a poor result, you're on to three or four cup games. I just think that the league will start to take shape. Uh, now that the league games sort of go back to back uh, for, for certainly a few of them. So it's really important we start to put a run of games together. Uh, we've been a wee up and down in the last couple of months, to be honest. Uh, a couple of good performances, a couple of really good performances. So, new year, we need to sort of reset and uh, and, and starting starting next week's training. Uh, we need to make sure that we start putting some league results together because the league is very tight. So, two or three good results can put you in a really good position. Two or three bad results in the next few games can can have you looking over your shoulder. So, really important that we, we use use today almost as an end point, which it is for, obviously for the, the first half of the season, but a poor end for us. Uh, and we need to make sure that we start the second half, second half of the season in better fashion.